Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to episode 11 of Pixel Feet Radio with my good friend Lindsay Moore here. How are you, Lindsay? I am doing fabulous today. How about you? I'm doing great. I know Lindsay for, for a long, long time. A long, long time. And uh, said it, I was talking to her the other day. We were, we we're talking about memes. So I was like, hey, well, I'll have you here and come on the show and do a podcast <laughs> with me. Let's talk some affiliate marketing. Absolutely. Because uh, I think you, you've been doing affiliate marketing a lot longer than I have. I mean, I've been in e-com, lead gen, and all that stuff. I own stores and then doing it for clients and stuff like that. But I really didn't start dipping into affiliate until like, I want to say a year ago when I decided right. I was like, all right, I'm going to start building my personal brand and start a list and the whole nine yards. And I'm only going to recommend products that I use myself or believe in because that's just the way I am. But I know right. people out there who will push anything and everything they can. And I'm not hating on that, but that's just the way I'm personally doing it, which I'm pretty sure that's the way you're doing it too. Um, well, yeah, absolutely. Well, we can dive into that when we get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll dive into it. But for those of that don't know you, uh, because I know everything about you, why don't we give them a little bit of background story of how you got started in this whole digital world, how long ago, and how did you get to where you're at today? Because you're, you're pretty high up there when it comes to affiliates, so people love hearing these stories. Right. So how I got started, um, so I was one of those people who were doing the, trying to build the traditional network marketing companies. So I did like Avon, artists, I did so many companies. How long ago was this? This was like, this has been off and on for like about eight, eight, nine years. Oh, wow. Was, okay. Like network marketing, like the whole go to the heavy home parties, go to all the meetings, trying to sell some eyeliners and all that type of stuff. <laughs> And after a while, like, you know, you run out of that warm list. I was one of those people who mm -hmm. went through family and friends. And then after a while, they started ignoring me and everything else. <laughs> so um, I started to promote by Salas. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go about this in a completely different route. So I decided to Google search how to build by Salas online. And that's when I just fell down the rabbit hole. <laughs> So you, find that, you find that one link or that one video yeah, that takes you to that one <laughs> landing page. Well, now it's everywhere. Back then, yeah. it was like you were finding like a gold nugget, like a golden nugget. It really was. And I was like, oh, my God. So it's like people who are just creating a lot of success using online, and they're not really having to leave their homes or anything. So I started falling in love with that. Um, so that's how I came online. Oh, people are loving that now, working from home. Oh, yeah, especially <laughs> now. Like, get me out of the house. Especially now, right? So, um... <laughs> I still wasn't having success with building by salads. I, I was having a little bit of success, but not as much as I wanted to. Right. So um, just when I was about to throw in the towel yet again, um, a mentor of mine reached out to me. He was like, you know that you ever heard of affiliate marketing? I was like, well, no, I haven't heard of that. And he was like, well, you know, you can actually just do reviews of products that are being released and earn commissions. And I was like, that's it. And that's how I got started with YouTube actually was because of that. And mm -hmm. Um, for 30 days, which by the way, I'm going to promote, I'll have huh? the link in the description for everybody who wants to check it out. Yeah. And I tell and people check it out. It's, it's good stuff. Yeah. And I made my first $1,500 online simply by doing that with affiliate marketing. That's, and that's, amazing. that's how it all that's started. Awesome. <laughs> because when we met, it was when, uh, Shopify was becoming pretty oh, big. So we were in the, running around the same circles and all that, but yeah. You were already doing affiliate. So you stuck pretty much to affiliate, right? The whole time. Or did you have a, a I don't remember. Did you have a, like a couple of Shopify stores at one point or? Yeah, I had um, kind of paused a little bit on affiliate marketing, but not as much. Um, I started um, working with um, Shopify and e-commerce and um, I was pushing the Shopify affiliate program too. Mm -hmm. They have a really, really good um, affiliate program as well. Yeah. So I earned a lot promoting that while I was putting out content on YouTube, telling people about how I made my first $10,000 in one month on Shopify, or just teaching people how to do Facebook ads for their Shopify stores, how to find products and things like that. And I always included a link to the 14 day trial where they can create their store on my YouTube videos. Right. And I was earning um, affiliate commissions that way, but it just wasn't really heavy at that time when I was doing Shopify. But since, since from there, I've been really heavily doing um, affiliate marketing so it's all the time has been there <laughs> yeah yeah so okay so that's how that's how you start now you're here so i mean for the people that don't know 
when you know what affiliate marketing is, what well, I think we just explained it. You're, you you basically reviewing other people's products, or you you push them, or you sell them, or whatever, and you get a cut. It's well in the digital world, it's amazing because you know if it's a membership site or something like that, most of them will just give you a cut of the membership fees for life. You know, yeah. so it's not bad to sit there and get yeah. you know money deposited into your account. Mm -hmm. uh, just for reviewing a product or, you know, talking about it or whatever it is, or, you know, exactly. it's like, I do a lot of click funnels, but you know, I don't do it just to do it. I mean, I use it daily in my business and for right. everything. I mean, I, t I can test something with click funnels in literally like five minutes. Like I have, I have so many funnels or like I can just literally put one together like Legos, like so quick. Mm -hmm. And that's the only reason why I talk about it. I'm like, because that's where I send yeah. traffic when it comes to lead generation, it's always a funnel. For me. There's other softwares out there and you know, there's lead pages. There's, uh, I can't even think top of my head. There's others. That's my whole point. <laughs> there's others, but I've been using click funnels for so long that it's just super easy to use. And if, you know, if, you know, that way I can teach people what I know since I use it daily, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. going to learn leap, uh, leap funnels or whatever, infusion soft, just so I can get their commissions. You know what I mean? Like it makes right. no sense. It's like I use it and that's why I push it. So absolutely and that's my favorite product because they have so many things and you know like Russell and they, has, have, they have a lot of products on the back end too so you're able yeah. to earn more right they have a really good affiliate program too but yeah and they're great products like russell really russell's are. books which i have in the description once again you have dot com secrets expert secrets and now traffic secrets those are I like the internet Russell's bibles somewhere. man if you haven't read that you should not be <laughs> oh, yeah like if, you, if you're trying to do internet online marketing you have to read dot dot com um secrets it's like a must and expert secrets expert secrets is also an amazing book i and tell people all the time like listen just pay the shipping which is like nine bucks or something like that and don't get yeah. the upsells you don't have to get the upsells because you're gonna get upsell throughout the whole thing but mm -hmm. you don't have to get it but trust me when i tell you like i tell people all the time like i was just at a now it feels like we're doing a freaking click funnels commercial but i was literally at an event <laughs> before this whole corona thing for my wife she's you know she, she's an attorney and we're in an event and some lady came up to me. She knows what I do. And she's like, I have a son who's 14 and I'm kind of worried about this whole online thing. What do you recommend to start? I was like, before anything, the first thing he needs to do is read dot com secrets and expert secrets. Once he reads yeah. those two books, then he'll know what's up and there's yeah. no going wrong from there. And it, that's, I mean, I don't push this, but it's true. And now traffic secrets, uh, I, I'm halfway through it right now. It's, it's amazing just as well. Like I wish, I had all of them when I started, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's all information that's been around forever, but he just m puts it all together and, he, and it's so easy to follow. Yeah, like so, you said, it's like the internet marketer's Bible. It really is. It really is, yeah. Really is. If people want to figure out what this thing is, this internet thing is, read yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so, okay, so that's why I personally picked uh, one of my main ones is ClickFunnels when it comes to affiliate uh, uh, marketing and stuff like that. But what's your process like for people who are trying to like get into it? Like, let's get into that because that's what people want to hear. So yeah, like I always so, recommend people to start like how, how I, how I got started. I started by doing reviews of, of no, products. what I was getting at, know how to push it, but uh -huh. how to, or sell it. But how do you pick the products that, that you go with? I mean, is there a certain process that you follow to like when you're doing research or it's just the stuff you personally use daily, you know, in your business. Well, for me, yeah, for me, um, how I got started was the, I, I was with products that I already used. Um, so it was that, and then just things that were already in my niche. So for me, it was internet marketing, make money online. Mm -hmm. So I went to sites like Warrior Plus, JVZoo, that offered a lot of these products that show people how to make money online, how to make money with internet marketing. So what I would do is, um, is request access to, you know, to access to an affiliate link to promote those items. But, um, I'll just do like reviews on them. So it really just started within my niche. Cause at that time I really didn't know a lot about internet marketing at that time when I first got started. But, um, like I said, I just found internet products, like popular ones that were getting ready to be released. And I just did reviews on them. That's how I just got started. Now, once I got better, a, a better understanding of affiliate marketing, that's when I started really kind of hone in on, on specific, like, uh, you know, products and softwares inside of my niche that I know that people were actually looking for, like click funnels and stuff like that. That's a really popular one that people want to know about. So I just started refining my searches and, and as far as like the products that I was promoting, but I do a, a 
variety of things when it comes to affiliate marketing. It's not really just like a one set thing that I do. I kind of highlight that on my YouTube channel as well, but I just do a variety of things when it comes to, um, to affiliate marketing. It's just not one set thing that I do. If that makes sense. Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. This is what people want to hear. So they want to learn. Okay. So, all right. So, well, obviously like a, the biggest thing you got to do is build your list. I talk about it on this channel. All the time. Absolutely. You have to build your list. So for example, when you're starting out, okay, so you, you pick a product that you like or that you're using, you try it out. If you like it, then you decide that you're going to, you know, you're going to move it, uh, you know, you're going to push it or whatever, or sell it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't mean that as like push it or sell it to like, listen, yeah. people who are in this world, they need some of these products and you're doing them a favor by introducing them to these products. Listen, if so, I found out about Shopify by accident, like Shopify wasn't that I was looking for. I literally found it by accident because I saw someone post about it with the mm -hmm. trial link and dude changed my life. You know, it's like, right. so this is what I tell people all the time. If they're in your list, offer some value, but don't be afraid to sell people. People get sold every day. Like, you know, when they buy a freaking burger at a restaurant, they get upsold on the fries yeah. or when they go buy a car, they get upsold on everything else, the, the warranties, the gap insurance, all that stuff. So like, don't feel bad. You just, you're just saying, Hey, you can get this that will make your life easier. It's up to you if you want to get it or not. I'm just letting you know that I'm in the, and this is what I do. I find the best products that I can and I just show them to you, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. so what do you do? What's your, what's your process like to, to, you know, what do you recommend people to do to start building their lists? So like the first, of course, to build your list, offer something for free. So on my YouTube channel, I give a lot of value. So I teach people how to get started with affiliate marketing how to build affiliate marketing without a website, all these type of topics. And then from there, once I give a lot of value in the video, I always tell people to go underneath the video in the description below and get access to like a free cheat sheet download or something like that, where they can get additional free information. And that's a great way for you to start building your list just by offering something for free, like a lead magnet pretty much. Mm -hmm. And a funnel again. Yeah, <laughs> so, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you start building your list. Right. So that's one way that I deal with affiliate marketing, of course, is like the list building and then providing value and selling on the back end through email. Yeah. Um, the other um, way that I do. Let's say you're starting out and you're shy. You're not on YouTube because a lot of people, not everybody's, it's, it's, it's up for YouTube, right? A lot of people are shy. There, but I just dived into YouTube. <laughs> did you? You just went straight to YouTube? I really, I really did. Um, yep. So like, uh, like I, I had already did like a few videos. They weren't that great, but um. I kept seeing like the people who are having success at that time do videos. Mm -hmm. And like, for me, it's easy. It's easier for me to convey my message through video than trying to write a thousand word blog post. And I can't, I can't, I can't. I really didn't like Facebook at the time either. I didn't like it. So um, I just dove in head first with video. Cause that was something that I was pretty decent at. And um, that's how I got started. Literally head first into YouTube. Like, so my videos weren't great at the time. Um, you can hear the fan running inside of my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> it was blurry, the videos and everything else. I didn't have a camera, so I had to use the the web the webcam camera inside of my laptop. My videos were horrible. I still think and, mine suck. Like I, yeah, even when I'm, I'm done, I'm like, it sucks. <laughs> but you know, people love the content. Exactly. You know, so it's like I and forget I left all those videos up too. Like I tell people, like I told people a few times with my YouTube channel, I was like. I was debating, should I get rid of all those old videos because they were so horrible? I'm like, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep them up because somebody can actually see my journey, how I started from crappy videos yeah. and just see over time how my videos gotten better, how the sound has gotten better, the quality of the videos, everything has Listen, gotten better. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, my videos, I rely on the information that I'm giving out that you just can't find anywhere. I mean, you can find it if you pay for it, but a lot of it, I just give it away that people literally build up courses on and cash in and I just give it away. And that's why people keep coming back to my channel. But I tell people all the time, like, I'm not a, listen, when I started this YouTube channel, it was like, okay, I need another avenue to get, you know, my brand out there, my personal, my personal brand. And I thought I was just going to be able to go in there and just shoot a video, knock it out and get it out there. Right. Dude, it turned into a full-time job of its own. And once I start something, I don't stop. So it's right. like, I don't care how hard it is. There's no stopping. I just got to figure out how to pull this off. And it's just a matter of 
I try to pump out three videos a week. And then that's okay. the other thing, like talking about digital marketing, there's a lot of talk about it. Of course, people want Facebook ads, Facebook ads, Facebook ads. And I'm like, oh, listen, all yeah. I can give you everything about Facebook ads, but the truth of the matter is if you don't learn the other 50%, which is your product, your landing pages and optimizing and, and everything else that goes along with it, you can know the latest hacks, quote unquote, on Facebook hacks, and, and you still not going to get results. And this is why, again, it comes back to a lot of it is a, well, I talk about affiliate marketing because it's just another way of driving you for me, which there's, you know, I love money, so there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I'm showing you, hey, these are the tools that I personally use. So, you know, this is why people got to look to what's out there. So if you're starting out, I think I would recommend if you don't want to do YouTube, I mean, you, you dove straight into YouTube. So, mm -hmm. I mean, pretty much everybody has a LinkedIn profile or a Facebook uh, page. I mean, you can have a Facebook fan page now if you don't want it to be your personal page, right? Yeah. So what I would recommend, you know, is to offer value on your Facebook page or Instagram feed or whatever you're using, right? And then mm -hmm. I will do like three posts of just offering value, talking about what you know, and then the fourth, you know, the fourth post is asking for the sale. Yeah. Because that way, you know, there's a, there's a strategy that you can follow to, like it's the same uh, content strategy that I follow when I'm creating my content for my own stuff. It's like, you know, you create a topic wheel and you choose, uh, you know, five different things that you want to concentrate on. So, uh, like one of mine is memes. People love memes. So one of mine is, it, this is my personal page, by the way, which is like, I started in college. So there's no way it's ever going to be professional. So either you know me or you don't, <laughs> you know? So mine's like memes, family. Uh, and then when I had a social life and then I would talk about digital marketing and then every once in a while, I'll just throw a post in there, but I keep it pretty personal. Now my fan page, it's all straight up value and I'll ask for a sale like every once in a while, but it's very rare there because most of my stuff comes from YouTube and client and you know, we have outreach, you know, I have tons of videos out there and email marketing and all that stuff. So I don't really to, need to do it on my organic stuff. It's just there. Right. But that, if you're starting out, that's definitely, <clears throat> yeah, that's definitely uh, what I would recommend. Right. Yeah. That's something that I've actually taught in um, my Facebook group. So like, I'm like, I know sometimes a lot of this stuff gets overwhelming so um, what, I, what I've done recently on my Facebook wall, like how you saying provide value, I post a meme here and there to get laughs, get engagement and something like that. And then I could go to warriorplus.com and find a product that's probably just been launched or something like that. Something that's probably related to Facebook marketing, typically, because mm -hmm. people on Facebook, they probably want to learn how to leverage Facebook to get sales. Right. And what I would do is I would get an affiliate link for it, request an affiliate link, do a quick review of like, hey, this is what to expect from this product. And I would make a post, hey, anyone on one wants to learn how to get more leads and sales with Facebook. That was just a post I did two days ago. Mm -hmm. And I was able to generate about 50 something leads from that post. Right. I also got some sales. Yeah. And that's like a real like a real basic way to get started, just using your Facebook profile. Where's your check? <laughs> I was laughing at people. We got started. <laughs> Where's your check? <laughs> show me, show everybody your check that you're sitting on. <laughs> I don't know. That's from last year. I haven't promote that. that <laughs> so everybody missed this. Down. When we first started, she had a third <laughs> check for 13 That was one of the geez. companies I promoted. They, um, it was random. I wasn't expecting it. They, I just got a big box in the mail and it was this check. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the big ass check. It looks like one of those. Uh, that's what it's called, actually. Big ass check. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really is like big ass <laughs> checks or big fat checks dot com or something. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you so, make these checks. <laughs> so now, I mean, I wanted to do this video, too, because a lot of people are going through through a bad time. You know, people, you know, that are not as lucky as we are where, you know, we can keep making money online or whatever and they lost their jobs or, you know, they were in sales and they lost, you know, they can't go to work or whatever. I think it's a good time to start looking into this stuff and figure out. So, I mean, where do you recommend these people to go to start dipping in and start, you know, building their accounts and hopefully, you know, make some money and never go back to work again and they don't have to do this full time. Well, one thing I would recommend, especially if people have already been researching about this, I know um, I was one of those people too as well. When I first got started, I was doing a lot of research. I bought some products, but I never went through them. This is the perfect time to go through those products that you have 
possibly purchase that you never went through. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do that, man. I think I'm the only person who's actually gone through every single course I purchased or gotten for free. Yeah, like, I know. I'll I go, go through, through all of them. I know I go through them. And I think like, because um, it never fails. When I go through these courses that I purchased, about like module three, they always say, if you made it to this module, give yourself a pat on the back because nobody <laughs> ever gets a car. <laughs> they always say that. Yeah, and it's yeah, true. true. So this is the perfect time. So if you ever par purchase any type of product, this is the time to go through it because you have the time right now. And what I would do is spend one or two days trying to get some type of result from that product. Again, you have the time to do it. Um, if you don't have any products or whatever else. Um, and you don't have to spend any money. You don't have to spend any money. You can use your own or your own profiles. You just, yeah. I mean, and that's something I, I like I said, I've, I've taught that too. I'm like, um, how to do affiliate marketing with no money. Cause yeah. how I got started with affiliate marketing, doing reviews of videos, it cost me $0. So yeah. that $1,500 I made that first $1,500 is all profit. Right. Yeah. So you don't even have to spend money to get started online. There's plenty of ways to do that. Um, even if like, I, like I want to tell people to go to YouTube, but sometimes people fall down that rabbit hole and they never come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what... go how to get started with no money. They're just like, Oh my God, everything looks so good. And then, they get shiny object syndrome or whatever else, but um, it's also another great way to do it. But I will also, if you, depending on what platform you're using, you can generate results from free using the exact platform that you're using. So some people, um, are, they love Instagram. You can start affiliate marketing on Instagram with no money. It just all comes down to how you're posting. Again, you want to create several value posts and then you want to sell something. Yeah, make sure you use the right hashtag. So what I tell people too, yeah, I, know, I right, think. I don't do Instagram. Huh? You don't do what? He, listen to him. Oh, yeah, I know what it's like. <laughs> so Instagram, is, I, I talked about this in, a, in another video somewhere in here in, this, in the channel. But um, Instagram, I mean, the easiest thing you can do is to, and TikTok now, TikTok is huge, okay? Mm -hmm. I suck at TikTok, I'm not gonna lie, but I know how it works. And if I was a hot girl, I'll be killing it. But oh <laughs> yeah, I don't dance. Uh, and I'm not that creative when it comes to like putting those videos together. I just, I'm not, I don't have the patience for it or the time. Mm -hmm for that matter. Anyway, so you should be on TikTok, you should be on Instagram, and they both work the same way. All you have to do is pick one hashtag. So let's say you're into, I don't know, give me something, oils, the stupid oils that all these women push, that they're, you know, MLM, uh, essential oils. So just to, <laughs> oh my goodness. I could kill it with that crap, but I'm never gonna do it just because it's not <laughs> worth my time. But. <laughs> Just an, as an example, okay, as an example, just look for the hashtag essential oils because I'm sure that's the one that's used or oils or something like that. Yeah. Go to the explore page and TikTok has an explore page as well. And you go in there and you see which one's the post with the most likes, the most shares, trending, blah, blah, blah. You look exactly at what the video is or exactly what the picture is. And then you look at the description and you look at the hashtags they used as well. Okay, it also give you the time that it was posted uh, in the day, I believe. If not, you can figure out if you go to the profile. And then you go, okay, so you rever reverse, engineer, reverse engineer it. So it worked for them, it made it to the top. So guess what? If you do something along the same lines, I'm not saying copy it, but grab the idea and make it your own with your own spin. You can use the same hashtags because that's fair game. And you know, write your own description using the same keywords, and you're most right. likely to, to get pretty high up there with reach. And if you keep that constant, if you keep doing that constantly, you'll grow your account in no time. In no time, and especially if you, you know, if you connect with that audience. And then, well, have, what was that? <laughs> I just learned something because I'm not on Instagram like that there at all. You go. See, we all learn something <laughs> every day. I learned something every day from somebody too. So, you know, and all you have to do at that point is include you know you go to bitly or something like that and it's a it's a url shortener uh go to bitly.co i believe or dot com just google it. it'll come up and then you create what's called a link shortener and um you can see how many people click on that link and you can track the traffic from what post and then you know what posts are working on your end and which ones are not and then look at your data you know you can go to your account set it set it to business and then look at your data it's just like you know when everyone ads that's what i look at all day the data Mm -hmm. What day had the most traffic? What post had the most clicks? At what time of the day? What day of the week? 
And then you, it's just a, a process of elimination. Okay, which, which day and time is the one with the most uh, interaction? You know, it's just like I do with YouTube. You know, the, there's a reason why I release the videos at a certain time is it's not because, you know, I feel like it, it's done. It's because I look at my data and I figure out, okay, this is the time that most people are on. So you're most likely to catch that wave. You know, that's, right. that's how it works. So that's what I would do. And then it, it stick to it. I mean, avoid uh, shiny object syndrome. I was horrible about it when I got, I still have it, <laughs> but it's different. I think a lot of us have it. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of people keep saying like, well, I don't have it. I'm like, yeah, you do. We just Build don't see it, it on Facebook. You're just I think not it's talking in our about blood, it. man. Yeah. It's in our blood. I think it's something about being a millennial as well, that we're just so used to like short you know attention too? spams. Huh? You know what I think it is too? Once you learn how to market and get results, it's like, why not? It's like having a superpower. It's, yeah, it's, it is. I tell people all the time, like, dude, <laughs> you don't understand. Like, I have a superpower. I can <laughs> literally, I, like, I was just about to do it the other day. I can literally go and shout card, find an influencer, say, hey, grab a link from ClickBank for some weight loss shit, and just be like, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I want you to do a shout out. I want you to post a post at this time, and I want you a bio link post as well. And I shit you not, I pay a hundred bucks and that thing will make me like 300 bucks back easily. If you, if you got to know how to do your research and, and right. check engagement rates and all that stuff, but it's Absolutely. like a superpower. And then, you know, like, like, why can't I just do everything else? Like, yeah. Right. Right. Like, like uh, dude, if, if, I had, <laughs> if I had all the time in the world, I will figure out how to like get more stuff out there online to sell because I could do it. I mean, all day long, you know? So yeah, like I said, once you get the skills, like you, it is a superpower. Like, I just I mean, learned a new one the other day. And mm -hmm. I mean, because I just now started getting into YouTube because I started the YouTube channel. So I'm like, okay, now I got to learn YouTube. Right. Yeah. So I found out like, you know, when you see these channels for like music, you know, they just have, I'm like, okay, how do they make money? If there's copyright. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do they make yeah. money? And then I found out that there's websites out there where you can get royalty free music. And then the same thing, you read the data. What's the best channel? What are they doing? What's the length of the video? What's the average length? Yeah. You look at the keywords, <laughs> you look at the description. Guess exactly. what? Go download a freaking picture or a bunch of pictures, edit them together on Movie Maker on your freaking computer or whatever Mac comes with or Adobe. Splice mm -hmm. it all together, put some music, slap some music to it. That's royalty free. Just make sure you yeah. tap it in the description. There's a tools out there to help you rank, you know, and boom, next thing you know, you get monetized and you're making, I mean, yeah, YouTube never it's crazy. Ends. It's crazy. Some of them are doing like uh, four to five figures a month. Some of them doing like, um, more than that. Yeah. But I saw, I, I, saw I, I checked one the other day. We're making the average between you go on social blade, go on socialblade.com and you can check out the account. It'll tell you exactly how much they're making just on AdSense. That's not even counting. Merch. Yeah, like um, some of the popular ones would be like those countdown videos or the top 10 videos or like the yeah. top 10 scariest mansions yeah. around the world. Something crazy like that. And they just, like how you said, they just splice it together, talk over it, yeah. and they're just pulling in crazy. You don't have to be in front of the camera yeah. if you're shy. You don't have to. Like, you can yeah. literally you grab information, do top five, top ten, you know, entertainment, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. You can check what's trending on Google Trends. And then on top of it all off, you can make money of AdSense and then just mix up some affiliate marketing there. Go to the, exactly. get on the Go Amazon affiliate. Store. Yeah. Or Shopify store for merch, you know, that matches yeah, the channel. Yeah. You got that. Or you can go to Amazon and just create an Amazon affiliate link, put it in the description, yeah. give a call to action. And I'm, dude, I'm telling you, like, you guys are watching this. You know, I only have like, I don't know, what is it? Like 173 subscribers at this, at this time or whatever. Like my videos don't get that many views yet. And I still get traffic. Like, it's insane to me. Like yeah. it's, you know, and it just, once it's done, it's done, but it's a lot of work. I'm going to lie. So, but <laughs> it, it's a lot it of work, is. but is it worth to you to give it, up? It's worth it. Yeah. Just like, um, um, like it's content that I had created three, four or five years ago that I'm still earning commission payments from. Yeah. You started your, totally worth it. yeah, you started your YouTube channel way back. Like, you know, so yeah, I call it the wild, wild west. Cause back then with YouTube, um, you could just really lose your channel really fast. People could just flag your channel just for the sake of it. And YouTube was shutting down your channel. Like oh, they shut really? down my channel for one week just because somebody just went on a flag attack on my channel. Really? Um, but then also during that time, you could get monetized on YouTube with just 10,000 views on your channel. So I looked up and caught that portion of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was definitely the wild, wild west. 
the only way you can actually rank your videos is if you had a lot of views. Yeah. Now they don't go by that no more. They, they change up the algorithm. So now smaller channels have the option, have a way to actually land on, on the front page of um, YouTube and everything else. So they have, they have done a lot of great things for their creators, which I'm truly grateful for. But when I got started, it was the wild, wild west. It was a pain in the butt. So YouTube back then. <laughs> yeah, so obviously YouTube has been around forever. And the reason why I never started one is because uh, I wanted to do something that, you know, I knew what I was talking about. And, you know, in my 20s, I had the great idea of this close. I was like, just me partying. So glad I didn't do that. <laughs> but who knows? It would have probably made a lot of money. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to that. I, I thought about it. I was like, no, that's not a good idea. And back then, the only way to rank, it, was, it wasn't, uh, it, for what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I don't know how YouTube that well from back then. But um, back then, it was the amount of views and backlinks, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did some ninja stuff back then that was helping me to get on um, the front page of YouTube and the front page of Google. Right. I was doing some ninja stuff then, but um, I don't really have to use that stuff now. Now, or whatever. now, well, now it's changed. Now it's about like yeah. the content matching, matching what people then, are looking for. And that's why, like I tell people right now, I mean, listen, the reason why I jumped on YouTube like a few months ago, it's because now, believe it or not, I call it the golden era of YouTube. And this window of opportunity is only going to be open for so long. It's like I when totally Facebook agree. hit that gold rush. It's like, totally agree. Algo is pushing stuff perfectly. As long as you just keep it together. You don't even have to be a ninja at SEO or any of that crap. All you, I'm, no. you tools out there. There's a million tools out there that tell you these are the keywords you got to use. And you just mm -hmm. write your description, you create your video, and now uh, you know YouTube matches your content to the actual person who wants to see it. So it's not about like if you go to the homepage. It's, if you're looking for puppies, you're gonna see puppies on your homepage all day. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So now you have a chance. And listen, I'm living proof right now. My channel started with zero. I didn't do any black hat shit. I, I could have bought views. I could have bought all that crap. But I was like, no, I'm gonna do it the right way. And you know, my niche is not something that everyone's looking for. It's very, very small. You know, it's mostly Facebook ads. So not that many people do Facebook ads, right. but I get thousands and thousands of views and I haven't done anything black hat. It's just my description, my video, and I post it at the right time and the right place and exactly. people find it. So right now is your opportunity. So if you want to get into affiliate marketing, I highly recommend it. YouTube, uh, Amazon links, find products out there like on um, sites like JVZoo. What are the good ones? You got JVZoo. JVZoo, Warrior Plus. Warrior Plus is great for make money online products. Mm -hmm. And then ClickBank, of course. ClickBank.com. Yeah, ClickBank. So yeah. you can, you guys can start with that stuff organically. And then if you really like it, if you keep pushing and then, and I'm telling you, build a freaking funnel, man. <laughs> links are in the description. Exactly. Just Please go. do that. Yeah, <laughs> you just build a funnel because if you got to build your list. Don't just throw links Don't out there. Don't ever use your raw link. Don't ever do that. Always take the opportunity, like you said, to build your list. And it, yes, please do. Yeah, <laughs> because you catch that email address, you can always come back to them and make an offer. Okay, Absolutely. Russell has the perfect example for this. Like he, he doesn't understand people who go out and invest all this money in real estate, you know, buying a house for a hundred grand and then they got to put another 20 grand into it and they only make another, you know, when they sell it or whatever, like, I don't know, I'm throwing crazy numbers, 20, 30, whatever it is. <laughs> when you have an email list, guess what? Like you can always make an offer to that list. And even a $29 product, I, I, the numbers are crazy. It's, it's like, uh, if you, uh, if you have a hundred thousand people on your list and you sell a $29 product and the conversion rate, it's only 1%. It's like some crazy number, like 20 grand or some shit. Mm -hmm. like so imagine sending an email out and making 20 grand on it, yeah. you know, from building a list. So it's a really good space to be in. It doesn't have to be your full-time job, but it sure helps if you're trying to make some extra cash, passive income and all that good stuff. And uh, I think uh, I think that's all I got for today. What about you? You think we, we'd hit all the points? Yeah, we hit everything. All right, cool. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, everybody, Lindsay, thank you so much. Uh, where can everybody find you? Every, everything. And I'll put it in the description as well. Um, you can find me at lindsaymore.com. And you can also find me on Facebook. I do have an Instagram account, but I'm not on there actively. But And also YouTube. Um, D Lindsay Moore on all those accounts. All right. I'll put all your links down there. Thank you so very much, everybody. Make sure to check out the links, hit that, uh, like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later.